What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys one of the dopest Pokemon of all time, and it's not even an argument. We got ourselves a Flapple team for ranked regulation each. Now, when it comes to Flapple, this Pokemon has a really dope ability with Hustle. Now, what Hustle actually does is it boosts your physical attack stat by 50% at the cost of all your physical attacking moves, drop it accuracy by 20%. So we're pairing up Sableye with Flapple to use Gravity, pretty much making Flapple have 100% accuracy and the hustle boost at the same time, making Flapple an absolute unit. Now, Flapple is holding the Choice Scarf as its item. It is a Grass and Dragon type Pokemon with the Steel Terror type. Then it's got an amazing moveset of Grab Apple, Dragon Rush, Terror Blast, and U-Turn. Super excited to be using this Pokemon. Cannot wait to showcase it. Like I mentioned, we got Gravity Sableye, but Sableye also does other things. It's got Foul Play and also has Reflect and Light Screen with the Light Clay. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Espathra, Indeedee, Arcanine, and Sneasler. Obviously, Indeedee and Sneasler are going to pair up really well due to Unburden and the Psychic Seeds. Arcanine is going to be a great Intimidate user alongside with being a great Physical Attacker. And then Espathra with Expanded Force and a Life Orb and Speed Boost. You guys know what this thing can do. It can do a lot of damage. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Mental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Flapple in ranked regulation H. First match coming at you guys, and it looks like we're going up against a pretty standard team for regulation H. They got Murkrow, they got Sinisha, they got Ursaluna, and then on top of that, they got Incineroar, Sneasler, and Golden Go. Now, right off the rip, I'm thinking we just go right in with the apple. I'm liking the Flapple apple. This thing is ready to roll. It can do some big time damage. I'm going to end up leading it with our gravity Sableye. I just think this works so perfectly. I really do. I mean, they could go into Incineroar, which actually could be a slight issue. And in that case, I can just like hard swap out into maybe like Espathra. That's not bad. But again, a lot of, a lot of uh, problems with Incineroar, right? Incineroar is just a big time attacker. So I'm going to end up bringing in our Sneasler. Actually, we're going to definitely bring in our Arcanine. And last but not least, do we want Sneasler? Even without the Psychic Seeds, I still feel as this Pokemon thrives. So, you know what? I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to do it. Actually, no, we're not. Am I? So I could just go Espathra. Espathra is nice by itself. Dazzling Hypnosis. Expanded Force can still do some nice damage. It's got the Life Orb. It can do some damage. We're going Espathra here. Let's do it. Let's do it. I really want to bring Sneasler again without popping those Psychic Seeds. It's still very strong, but at the same time, you don't get that full value out of it that you really want. But I'm going to end up leading the Apple. going to end up leading Sableye. Hopefully, hopefully they don't lead in Sinor, but chances are... They are going to lead Incineroar. And if that's the case, we might just hard swap into Arcanine. And try to get rolling that way, right? That can be nice. Nice little Intimidate. Maybe set up screens. That can be nice. And it is going to be Incineroar. So Incineroar and Golden Ghost is going to come out of here. Okay, I see you. I understand. Um, Do I just pop Gravity and try to get after it? Or do I set up the screens turn one? I think I hard swap. I really do believe I hard swap here. That's what I'm going to do. A little bit of hard swap into our mirror herb arcanine um from here we are going to just drop a nice little reflect or a sh light screen i think a light screen here because if they're going to go for anything i believe in order to be going for fake out so i'd rather set up the light screen just to defend up against the golden go this turn so i like that i do like that something i also like about flapple is its size it's just like a tiny apple just flying in the sky <laughs> look at it it's so funny it's so funny but we're going to end up swapping it because, again, Incineroar is a little bit of a problem, and we kind of have to deal with it. I'm going to go right into our Hisuian Arcanine. Ready to roll. Ready to do some nice damage. Intimidate's going to fly out here, which is beautiful. And Sableye's just going to toss up this Light Screen after this Fake Out goes, which we read pretty perfectly. Light Screen out and about. Awesome. Dope. Cool. Now, Golden Girl, what you got cooking here? I'm just going to throw a Make It Rain. That's fine. That's totally fine. We're able to soak that. Nice little Light Screen action helping us out. Um... Now, this thing is Life Orb. I mean, if I could just get rid of this this Arc or this uh, Incineroar here, we should be fine. So, I'm just going to go for a Head Smash here. I'm going right after it with a Head Smash. So, I'm going to do that. And do I pop a Gravity or a Reflect? I'm going to pop a Reflect here. You're not going to be able to KO Sableye if we land this Head Smash and just take out Incineroar. Which is kind of my plan, right? Definitely my plan. They could Terrasilize Incineroar. I could see that happening. But, I don't know. I just have a feeling that they're not going to do it. I just think they would rather save it for something better, but Incineroar is pretty good for this matchup. He ends up withdrawing Golden Go. So Golden Go gets the swap here. Out comes dun -dun -dun -dun, Ursa Luna Bear. So the bear's gonna come out here, reflect flies, head smash. I need you landed here. 
I need you landing here. Go ahead, head smash. Come on, man. Come on, man. I really want that head smash. I really need that head smash. I might go for it again. Say screw it. That's stack on window. Now he, now he knows that we're going for it. I might just go for a rock slide at this point. Just chunk up some damage. Rock slide into gravity. Yeah, let's get gravity going. Let's get gravity going because I don't want to lose my Sableye without getting gravity up. Man, that sucks. Man, that sucks. You're like, you should be dead. Incineroar should be dead. Yep, there's the withdrawal, which is why I switched to rock slide instead. You're going to go back into Golden Go, possibly? Possibly, you're going back into Golden Go. Sinisha comes out here. Okay. And we are able to drop our gravity. So gravity comes out here. And we're going to throw a rock slide across the board. Which does mediocre damage. But do we get a flinch? Show me a flinch. No, no flinch. And we're going to lose you. Okay, that's fine. So now do I just bring out the Flapple? Start dealing some damage with, with the Flapple? Wow, gravity's up. Could do that. This thing's going to have leftovers. Um... I don't mind the Flapple. I do not mind the Flapple. I could save the Espathra. And I still have Terror type. I do still have Terror type, which is really good for us. And I can kind of just save our Terror type for Espathra to kind of deal with Incineroar. But Golden Go is a little bit of an issue itself. But now comes our Flapple. We're going to choice in a Dragon Rush here. For show. For show, we're choosing a Dragon Rush, right? We gotta. Could go into Grab Apple. But I'd rather choice in the Dragon Rush. So I'm going to go Dragon Rush here. I'm going to chunk up some damage into you. And on top of that, do we just throw a Foul Play? Yeah, let's see how much damage foul play can do into Sinisha. Probably not much, but better than nothing, right? Better than nothing, but missing that head smash just sucks. Dragon Rush launches, does great damage into Ursaluna Bear. Um, Strength Sap's gonna pop out here. You shouldn't be able to Strength Sap Grass-type Pokemon. Kind of annoys me, not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it, but it is what it is. And Ursaluna, what are you going for here? Probably Hyper Voice. Foul play launches, how much damage here? Not bad, kind of what I expected. You're gonna flinch, oh, that's a pretty big flinch. That's a pretty big flinch. That is a pretty big flinch. That is a pretty big flinch. You know what? We're going to do this again. Because that should KO. Let's just throw another foul play across the board. I'm going to double down on Ursula in here. Because there is a chance that you do hard swap. But uh, who are you going to hard swap into? Incineroar? Golden Go maybe? Yeah, let's just double down into the slot. There's a swap into you. It's going to go into Incineroar. And at this point, if Incineroar is on the field, I think we just... I think we just hard swap Flapple after this turn, right? After we KO the Sarsa Luna. Get out Espathra. He protects. That's a smart protect. That's a real smart protect. Because now he can fake me out. I'm going to swap into Espathra. I am going to swap into Espathra. We got to get our attack stat back if we want a shot at this. This sucks because, like, Incineroar should be dead. Incineroar should be dead. I really wish we landed a head smash. Head smash would have KO'd that, no problem. We would have been sitting in a way better position. But now I gotta, I'm forced to swap Flapple. Um, I guess we'll just launch a foul play. I don't think it's KOing you. I really don't. Um, let's see how much damage it does. Because if I can half it and out speed, that could be good. So we might as well just test the waters, right? Might as well test the waters. So we still have Espathra. Which is nice. Flap was going to swap because it is minus two and we don't feel like dealing with that. And as path is going to come out here for us. Probably going to take the fake out here, right? Yeah. So fake out launches. We still have screens up, which is great. Foul play is going to fly. Foul play does about half. That's really good for us. As path is going to get the speed boost. And I think from here, do we just like terrestrialize as path? We go for like a dazzling gleam. I do like this. So as much damage as we can. I can do that, and on top of that, I can just throw another foul play into this slot. Or I could swap into Flapple here. How many turns left in gravity? That's the real question. One. I don't want to swap because, ah, oh, dude, we need another gravity. I'm just going to go foul play in this slot. You could swap him as well. But now comes our Terror type. Sending it, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Man, dude, this match actually would have been so much easier without Incineroar here. They still have Sinisha. I'm not too worried about Sinisha as long as I can get off like another gravity. Golden Go, definitely a little scary. He's going to end up protecting the Ursaluna Bear. So Ursaluna gets to protect. I think he wants to go for knockoff into Espathra, which is not bad. 
And Dazzle Gleam is going to come across here. And how much damage are we doing? How much damage are we doing into Incineroar? I don't know. We just got to hope we can soak up an Incineroar shot. That's okay damage. Lose some HP to Life Orb. And what are you going for? Knockoff? You're going for Throat Chop. Can you soak this? You do all day. That's a big time soak. That is a monstrous soak. Foul Play launches into Incineroar. And that... We're doing half damage to this thing. So gravity, back to normal. I gotta set up another gravity thing here. Or he might just attack us path again. We're going for another gravity. I, I think gravity is very important right now. I think it's too important. So he could swap Ursuline and go into just like Golden Go. I mean, setting up this gravity again is gonna be nice. And he do. He do withdraw Incineroar. I think Golden Go comes out here. Or it could be Sinistra for hospitality. Oh, that could be brutal. It is. Oh, that's brutal. Espath, do enough damage here. I don't think you can. Espath, I need you here, girl. I need you here. Gravity launches. That's a great swap in. And this is not look good for your boy. So Dazzle Gleam launches. How much damage are we doing here? KO Ursaluna. Come on with that. Come on with that. Come on with that. Come on. This match is just... Oh, man. This match, dude. First, my head smash doesn't land. Second, we're going up against a 1 HP bandit Ursaluna. I'm trying here, folks. I'm trying here. I'm trying here. So, we only got one last Pokemon left. It is going to be the Flapple. Um, and Light Screen's gone. And Light Screen's gone. Um, we're down four Pokemon. I can't get swept here. I'm just going to pick up a KO onto somebody. And... Honestly, I think we just go into a nice little Dragon Rush into you because there is a chance that you might protect Ursaluna, which would be awesome if you protect and then I'm just able to like start ripping with Dragon Rush. Could swap into Incineroar as well. But yeah, rough one here. He's going to end up withdrawing Ursaluna. He's going to go into Incineroar here. Maybe Strength Sat me as well. And yeah, this match is just game set match. We're just trying not to get swept here, right? That's the whole plan. We're just trying not to get swept. Flapple gets intimidated. Dragon Rust launches. Doesn't even KO. And he's going to strength sap me. This is brutal, man. <laughs> this is brutal. <laughs> this is brutal. I should just attack the Ursula in a slot. Oh, my lord. Look how much HP it gets back. It's absurd. It is absurd. It is absurd. This is just a mess. This is just an absolute mess. An absolute mess. We're choosing to Dragon Rush. We're just going to start throwing them. And we're just trying to pick up a KO here because I can't get swept. Rage Powder Fly Series doesn't work on my Flapple. I'm part Grass type. It's a waste of a turn there. Waste of a turn there, Sinisha. Dragon Rush flies. We do get a crit. We pick up a KO. Your boy doesn't get swept. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. But, dude, this match was actually a lot closer than it looks. One HP on the Ursaluna. We actually brought Sinisha down a couple of times and just strength sapped away. And then, obviously, missing our head smash really... Really turn the ties real quick because getting rid of Incineroar that early into the game would have been so massive, especially for my Flapple. No attack drops would have been thriving. It would have been thriving. Plus, our Espather would have been able to thrive out even more without that Incineroar just like being a big time threat to it. But Gold Go is going to come out here. I'm just going to run this match. GG to so our opponent. We do not get swept here. We start off 0 1. So, guys, the Apple falls short in match number one. We're hopping into our second match, looking to bounce back here, going up against a Dragapult team, alongside with Scizor, which we absolutely love. Now, Incineroar's on the opposing team again. We're gonna need to work our way around it. I could end up leading Flapple here, again, with Gravity Sableye, which I think is good, especially with like this Arcanine, because I don't mind trying to do kind of like the same thing that we did last time, and I think that is gonna be our play. I think that is what we wanna do. We're gonna do these two, and then we are going to bring in Arcanine. And last but not least, do we just go Sneasler instead of Espathra? I mean, I like Espathra. Got that Dazzling Gleam. Got that Expanded Force. But I just feel like Sneasler has so much value. Even without the Psychic Seeds, it just has a ton of value. It really does. He's got Close Combat Deal with Incineroar, Dire Call for the Primarina, and Whimsicott. It's just such a nice Pokemon. It really is. It's just, it's good. It's good in Regulation Each. You really can't go wrong with it. But we're looking to go back with Flapple here. Hopefully they don't lead Incineroar, and they don't, which is huge news for us. Um, I can Gravity Turn 1. I can start throwing Dragon Rushes, which is great. And watch out for the bug moves. The bug moves are a little scary for my Flapple, um, which is why I might just Thrasalize here. So yeah, let's just go Gravity here. Let's just go Terra, and we'll go Dragon Rush. We'll choice to a Dragon Rush here. 
start dealing some damage on the Magmar. Because Magmar, first off, is the main threat right now. Just because it could use follow me and just be a, a little bit of a nuisance. So, we'll go and Dragon Rush into that slot. Hopefully, half up some damage here. Get Flapple going. Maybe set up a Reflect the next turn after. But I like to steal Terror type onto this Pokemon. Especially up against Sizzle right here. So we'll see what they want to do here. Gravity launches. And I'm able to throw a nice little Dragon Rush out here. Doing great damage. That's half. Do not burn me. Do not burn me. Oh, we get a flinch on Magmar. I was going to say Magmar. Do not go for Will-O-Wisp and burn me. But Pounce doing a ridiculous amount of damage, to be honest with you. Dropping my speed. And he is life for him. That is some big time damage. So now I'm just going to set up a Reflect. And I'm just going to go for a, yet another Dragon Rush. Just into Magmar. Try to get after it. So we get a nice little flinch here. Pull Punch does launch into you. Doing, oh my god, dude, this thing's hitting like an absolute truck. This thing is hitting like a truck. And we set up the Reflect. So Reflect out and about, which is great news for us. Dragon Rush launches. And we KO Magmar. So Magmar off the field. Flapple getting after early on here. Hoping I get off another Dragon Rush with Flapple. I really am. But yo, this thing's just doing some damage. The Reflect's really nice. Um... I do want to get off a light screen. He's going to go into Primarina here. I have choice into my dragon move, so I might just want to hard swap my what's it called right now. I definitely want to go for a light screen here. Um, I'm thinking I just want to hard swap into... I could go into Arcanine. Or I could just go into Sneasler. I'm thinking I'm leaning towards Sneasler. I definitely want to hard swap. I could just Intimidate. Do you think you're going for a water move? I might just Protect. Problem is, the water move just chaos. We gotta go into Sneasler. We have got to go into the Sneasler. The Sneasler has got to come out here. So I'm gonna swap with the Sneasler here. We should be able to get off a light screen here, because I think he's just gonna bullet punch Sableye again. And no, you're not. The light screen flies. And what you got cooking here? We're going for a Swords Hand. So he's looking to boost up here, which is ooh, pretty scary here. And Pre Marina, what you got cooking for us? Hyper Voice. That's fine. Our Sableye is able to soak. And from here, I mean, I could just go for a Foul Play. I could probably just Protect here. Because I think you want to go for, like, a Bullet Punch more so than anything. So I'm hoping Sableye just outspeeds Primarina. And I get off this Foul Play. Like, this thing's sitting plus two with Life Orb. Like, <laughs> Foul Play should be able to do some nice damage. So then I'm just protecting here. I think a Bullet Punch is going to fly here. Yep, correct call. Sableye. Let's get that speed going. Outspeed this Primarina for us. Outspeed this Primarina for us. Nope. You do not. You do not. And we're going to actually die out to that. So you're dead. Um, Man, the Psychic Train would be massive here. I could Intimidate him here. Which I might just want to make my play. Or I could go into you. Yeah, I'm going to go into you. So I'm going to look to grab Apple up. With the Flapple. So Flapple comes out here. We're going to launch Grab Apple into this slot. And from here, if I can... I mean, I would love to get off close combat in this slot, right? I would love to do that. But I think he just bullet punch to take out my Sneasel. Plus two? Yeah, there's the bullet punch. Can you soak this, please? Thank you. Mm, not even Reflect's helping us out there. <laughs> not even Reflect. So out goes Sneasler. Sizzler's going to lose a little bit of HP, which is fine. And Grab Apple's going to launch and say bye-bye to Pre. Pre Marina, gone. So I'm choosing to Grab Apple right now. Um... And Gravity's gone. Gravity's gone. I get to go into you. Grab Apple. Our final move. And I get to Intimidate here, which is nice. So I'm kind of hoping they throw out a Physical Attacker. It's going to be Dragapult. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not the Polsky. Is it Clear Body? It's got to be Clear Body. Yeah, it's Clear Body all day. Um, So they still have Terra, don't they? I believe them to have Terra. Yeah, they still do have Terra. And I got to just go for Grab Apple. Like, it's my only move. And I'm just going to send it over in this slot. So I'm going to go grab Apple and... I think I'm just going to go for Rock Slide here. I really am. Because I think he Terrastalize. I think you have to Terrastalize. No, you don't. You end up just going for a straight Bullet Punch. Which does great damage. And Dragon Dart's going to launch. Can you soak this Arcanine? You do. That's beautiful. That's beautiful soak. That's beautiful soak. Can we take out the Scissor here? That's the real question. Grab Apple launches. I don't think we're taking out the Scissor. I really don't. We do get a defense drop. Hold up. Grab Apple might have just clutched up with that defense drop. Oh, come on now. Come on now. I really need that. I really need that. I really need that. Because now I can just pull a punch away. That's game set match. 
I should've just went for a Flare Blitz. I can't believe they didn't Terrastalize. So, so far, not so good with Flapple. We're playing pretty good. We're just losing matches. Out comes the Bullet Punch again. We should've brought the Psychic Terrain. And that's a tough one to lose again. That's a tough one to lose again. 0-2 with the Flapple, man. He does lose some Life Orb damage, and he is going to faint to that. Maybe I should just protect it, but Dragon Pull outspeeds. If I protect Dragon Dirt, just KOs. And actually, hold up. Can we soak this? We live on one, but it's not enough, because I'm Choice Scarf. If I had Dragon Rush Raid Roll, we would have won this match all day, but bringing him down low. Another close match for your boy. I'm just going to click Grab Apple. He's just going to Dragon Dirt's way. GG's. We're sitting 0-2. we got to hop into our third and final match and make sure that we grab ourselves our first win. Moving on to our third and final match, and I know, I know, your boy is sitting 0-2. We gotta grab ourselves a win here, and at least get one win for today's video. We're going up against a Pelipper and Grand Ninja team with Basque Legion, with Arch Ludon, with Incineroar, which has just been a pain for us all day today, and then uh, Venusaur as their final Pokemon. So how should I play this one? Who should I honestly lead? Do I even want to bring Flap in here? Because I'm thinking more so on the, uh, like, uh... The Sneasler and DD side. And I think that's going to be a great call for us. So I am going to end up going into both of them. Um, in the back end, I do want Flapple. But the thing is, like, Flapple needs gravity. Yeah, you turn you do got Terra Blast. Um, hmm. Espathra's going to be great. I'm definitely going to Espathra. And then last but not least. Hmm. I just gotta go Arcanine. I mean, dude, the rain's a problem. We're just gonna go Flapple. Let's get the let's get the, the, the Apple back in action. Let's do it. Let's do it. I know it's actually gonna be low. We're gonna be re relying on accuracy, which never really goes good for me, but we're still gonna give it a try. We're still gonna give it a try. So first match came down to the wire. A few missed moves, a few RNG problems. Uh, match number two, just close match. It really was. Just Scissor getting the best of us, especially with Sword Stance. Came down really close to one turn, pretty much. And then now we're sitting here looking for our first victory. Pelipper and Basic Legion comes out here. So, um, a little scary. Definitely a little scary. Do get that special defense boost, which is great. Um, a hurricane will one shot my Sneasel, which is a slight issue. Um, I do, I should have a dark move. And can I dark Terra? Do I have dark Terra on you? I do. I could dark Terra throw chop. And I can just launch expanded force. Yeah. Yeah, all day. Dark Terror, throw a chop, send it. Let's do it. Let's do it. They could Terrasalize themselves, but I'm clicking this Terror button. I should be faster, especially with Unburden. I mean, it should be a decent turn unless they pop Tailwind, right? Unless they pop Tailwind, this should be a decent turn. For us, at least. So out comes my beautiful Dark Terror type. We are out speeding. They were not expecting it. We can all say bye bye to Basket Legion. Everybody wave goodbye. See you later, Basket Legion. That's a good start for us. That's a great start for us to not lose this match. Basket Legion, gone. Get it on out my face. Pelipper staring us in the face. Love you, Pelipper, but take this. Here you go. Expand Force. Bye-bye, Pelipper. Oh, my Lord. Hot start for us in match number three. I told you guys, we need a win. We're getting this win. I got two rules on the channel. We don't get swept in a game, which we almost did in match number one. And then my second rule is... We don't go 0-3, and, 3, and I, I I don't plan on that being today. So he ends up going into Incineroar. You can't fake me out. I can still just like sit on the field and maybe just go for a close combat. That might just be my call. Um, I still have Espathra, which is nice. And oh, they're both Dark type. I totally forgot. Just go for a Terra Blast into this slot and just close combat away. Actually, let's double down into Incineroar. Hate you, Incineroar. That's what we're doing. We're doubling straight down into Incineroar. Get this thing on out of my face. <laughs> we don't want to deal with it. So, it did intimidate us. Water Shuriken is going to come out here. It's going to be Protean Greninja. And it's protected by the terrain. Like I said, yo, we're getting after this match. Incineroar, take that. Terror Blast, can you finish this one off? Can you get after it? Can you get after it, NDD, with Terror Blast? I think you can. I think you can. Of course you can. So, there we go, guys. This is going to be the match here. Big time sweep for us in match number three. Can't even go for Water Shrekken with the terrain. I'm just going to launch another Terra Blast and another Close Combat. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. This might be a perfect sweep if we outspeed here. A perfect sweep is when we take zero damage. And I think Red is going to do damage to us. So, yeah, see, no perfect sweep for us. Dark Pulse Flies does great amount of damage. 
but nonetheless, Tyler Blast can launch. And that's gonna be GG, so one and two for today's video. I feel like we showcased the Apple really well today. So guys, not the record we were looking for. We go one and two, but still, I feel like we showcased the Apple to its fullest potential. Popping Gravities with Sableye, doing big time damage with Choice Scarf Flapple. What more can you guys ask for? I love Dragon Rush, I love Grab Apple, I love the Hustle ability, and I love the Chewy Scarf as its item. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.